Welcome and hello. Let's talk the news. Today is June 21st, 2024. TikTok, the app better known as Watch People Dance While Making Food app, kicked off its court case against the United States. The argument goes, if you silence TikTok, you are shutting down freedom of speech. The USA is arguing that TikTok is a means by which China can influence Americans with propaganda. How many Americans exact? Approximately 170 million users of TikTok in the United States. TikTok indicated that they attempted to work with the federal government, giving them a lot of control over how TikTok actually runs, and the Biden administration refused. Creators also jumped onto the lawsuit, arguing that their livelihoods would basically be shut down, along with impacting the incomes of many others. This one is tricky. If you are of the mindset that freedom of speech is guaranteed even on these platforms, then you must agree also that the platform itself must be allowed to exist in a way to allow that freedom of speech. Also, other platforms are not being looked at, and if they get added, they can go through a review and appeals type process, but only TikTok is singled out as being unable to do those things for problems Congress has yet to prove. And it feels dangerous that Congress have this kind of power to ban specific platforms, groups, people who hire outside of the United States to work. They have other levers they can pull and more privacy they can actually legislate that would be beneficial in and out of the country. TikTok seems like it's being used as a scapesca scapegoat that other data mining companies such as Facebook, Microsoft, Google, Apple, all the other big tech companies that you know and love with proven track records of continuing to gather up all that information and going along their merry way simply because they were founded in the United States. What's Michael Jackson and Queen have in common? In short order, they'll both be owned by Sony Music. That's right, Sony Music is gobbling up another big catalog of music and entering the final stages of a $1.2 billion deal with Queen to own all their music. This means it starts to get even more dicey for companies like Spotify, where big owners of large catalog could require different royalties per plays than smaller artists, or even change prioritization options. Whatever they kind of want, they've already been known to start pressuring Spotify through lawsuits. If they own enough music, anyhow. This is very anti-competitive, and the more these catalogs of music get collected up, the less favorable any of this will be for us, the end users. Who's ready for 8-tracks to return, huh? Hmm? Go see a local band, buy a shirt. They'll appreciate you. In non-war-based Israel news, there be a ship down there. Arr. A shipwreck from about 3,300 years ago was discovered in the eastern Mediterranean off the northern coast of Israel. It was nearly 6,000 feet below the surface. Historians are calling this shipwreck a marvel because it shows just how far back humans were capable of navigating large seas where no land masses could be seen for navigation. Though in this case, it might not be the best example since, well, it sank. I hope they find a Twinkie down there and someone tests the idea that they never go bad. Ancient Canaanites had Twinkies, right? Right? Last on the list, Louisiana's governor signed Bill HB 71. This requires, requires that every school put up a poster of the Ten Commandments. And the requirements don't end there. It must be in an 11 by 14 printout, presumably so you can't print it on a toothpick and hang that up on the wall. It has to predominantly display the Ten Commandments, probably in advance of schools making parodies of the Ten Commandments or printing other religious texts in the margins, and does not require the school to spend their own money. They can... Or they can get donated versions, which I'm sure all those would-be Etsy religious folks out there are happy about. I can't see this as anything other than attempt to, when inevitably it is deemed unconstitutional, to then claim that public school is destroying religion. It's setting up this kind of process and most certainly wants to test the boundaries of what the Supreme Court is willing to do. I could see this being allowed if any and all religions could put up their own documentation that it was voluntary, and that it was for, provided for by private money only and not government-based funds at all. At that point, it'd be harder to say it was a government establishing a religion, which is literally unconstitutional. But right now, it just looks like the judicial version of clickbait that will help a political party rally people against another make-believe threat. And since we're talking about schools, what mass shootings happened yesterday? 
I can't believe it. Seriously, I put this section here because I was pretty confident I'd have something to say every day. Well, butter my toast. I was wrong. June 20th, 2024 did not have a mass shooting that was recorded by the Gun Violence Archive, at least. Let's all go out and celebrate, yeah? And let's end on a controversial topic. It's GIF. Guh. Guh. GIF. Not Jeff with an I, GIF. Okay? Just like it's GEM, not GEM. It's pronounced GEM cutter after all. There. Settled. Done. Fini. I know words. Jesus H. Christ. Seriously. The internet fights over everything. This video is brought to you by Caffeine Zombies. Coffee's so good, it'll wake the dead.